Zimbabwe Consolidated Diamond Company Private Limited this year exhibited at the Zimbabwe International Trade Fair for the first time since its consummation last year. The stand was one of the first main attractions with over 800 visitors, including government ministers, traditional chiefs, foreign and local exhibitors, church leaders and students in the mining sector, to mention only but a few, mostly inquiring on government's rationale behind the consolidation. The ZCDC stand was given a seal of approval by Honorable Dr. Mike Bima, Minister of Industry and Commerce, under whose ambit the ZITF falls. I think to start with, there is quite a lot of myth about diamonds. A lot of stories, some of them are true, have been told about diamonds. And I think coming up with the, with the stand where information is given, uh, it's, it's, I think it's a very good intervention in terms of reaching out to, to, to the public, for people to demystify the whole issue of how, how diamonds are mined, how they are polished, how they are sold. So I think this this, this stand is quite impressive in my view. In um, in that regard, it's a very good interface where people have uh, can can have a feel of, of actually what's happening. And as I said, it demystifies a lot of myths that have been going around the uh, diamond mining and the whole. Uh, processing of diamonds. Last year, the government consolidated the diamond mines in Zimbabwe to ensure accountability and transparency. Addressing delegates at a function for small-scale miners at the Zimbabwe International Trade Fair, Mines and Mining Development Minister Honorable Walter Chitakwa explained some of the clauses in the Mines and Minerals Act being misconstrued by the public and business community. The Mines and Minerals Act in its first clause, and I will paraphrase it, starts by saying, the mineral resources of Zimbabwe first in the state. The second, and then it talks about the other things to explain that. They first in the state. The second clause says, What investors get is a limited right to exploit the minerals, is a limited right which may or may not be withdrawn. And uh, so the circumstances around which mineral rights can be withdrawn are more to do with national good. Is it in the national interest for our mineral resources to be owned by two companies? My answer is no. And the answer of the government of Zimbabwe is no. Deputy Minister of Mines and Mining Development, Honorable Fred Moyo, said the consolidation was in tandem with international trends. There is this misconception that government wanted to take away uh, concessions from the miners. But I think what government tried to do is that uh, let's look at how other countries are operating. Namibia has got a uh, uh, broad structure that mines and markets diamonds. Botswana, same, one big company that is mining and uh, marketing. South Africa, DBS, one big. There will be other small players around, but the country is failed as one producer. In South Africa is Botswana and Zimbabwe. ZCDC's senior public relations officer Brian Mangwete walked through the diamond mining processes which were of great interest to most of the visitors at the stand. The majority of visitors were so impressed that they encouraged others to visit the stand. I also encourage people to uh, pass by and get more information because uh, when people hear this information concerning diamonds, they they don't really know the in-depth stuff, how the people mine it, how it's processed, and uh, how it's sold out there to people who have interest in it. So 
I'm thankful for the information. Well, uh, it's very impressive. Uh, it was actually uh, welcome very well. And uh, I went uh, through a number of uh, uh, places. I, actually, I was actually shown a number of places and the processes that are done uh, for us to get done. The stands really looks good. And uh, yeah, I've learned a lot about this company. They are, I've, seen, I've seen their vision and uh, their mission. Yeah, that's good. The most, uh, the most impressive thing was um, the way that uh, the gentleman that I uh, talked to actually explained to me. Uh, he was very much, uh, very, very eloquent and uh, he explained everything uh, very well to me. And I actually have got a very uh, great picture of how the diamond process uh, takes place. I'm happy that coming here has opened my mind, has uh, feathered my eyesight into seeing a lot that happens into my I have seen the process, it starts from geologists exploring the soil, the rocks for diamonds, then the extraction processes, the machinery required, uh, and uh, various pro uh, processes that are involved in mining. One of the prominent visitors was President of the Chiefs Council, Honorable Fortune Charumbira, who insisted on seeing the real diamond. Next year, uh -huh. When you do this sort of thing, you must be able to see the, the, not only dummy, real diamond. But as a CTC shipping coordinator, Bezel Mutsinya explains the risks involved. When we're dealing with the diamond, we're dealing with a very high, well, extremely high value mineral. So we cannot showcase the sample per se because of the security risks that are associated by doing so. ZCDC representatives took visitors through the stand explaining the company's operations. coming in, asking a lot of questions, what is uh, ZCDC, and uh, what does ZCDC comprise, what is the, the mandate, and how does ZCDC benefit the country, and where is ZCDC going. We have answered those questions to levels that I think are satisfying to everyone who is going to go out there and perhaps share the information with those that were not able to attend. ZCDC, Diamonds are Transforming Zimbabwe.